If we want to prevent people who have abused animals in the past from repeating their behavior, it's crucial that we actually cause a shift in the way the person thinks about and views animals. For almost 20 years, I was a deputy district attorney for Los Angeles County. During that time, I reviewed and prosecuted hundreds of cases of animal abuse. I came to believe that while incarceration may be appropriate in some cases, altering the thoughts and attitudes that drive a person's abusive behavior toward animals is often more likely to bring about real change and prevent future abuse. Benchmark Animal Rehabilitative Curriculum, or as we call it BARC, is a unique and powerful online animal cruelty prevention and education course designed to inspire change through knowledge. BARC uses videos, text, articles, quizzes, and a final exam to increase students' awareness of the value and needs of all species of animals, as well as the potential consequences of failing to meet those needs. The BARC curriculum covers a broad range of topics, such as intentional animal abuse, tethering, neglect, illegal animal fighting and hoarding. The course addresses other important subjects such as what is considered appropriate discipline, the dangers of leaving pets alone in vehicles, and why various aspects of grooming are a necessity and not a luxury. Bark also emphasizes the importance of ensuring that an animal's emotional and psychological needs are met. Bark's exclusive set of features makes the course both effective and exceptional. Bark's curriculum was developed by experts in the areas of animal cruelty prosecution, animal law, humane education, teaching and training, and psychology. BARC's use of facial recognition technology ensures that the person taking the course is the person who was referred to BARC. Completely online, students can access the course at any time. Students are also able to download progress reports and their certificate of completion. Another important feature is that course concepts are reinforced through a series of quizzes at the end of each section. Students must also pass a final exam to receive credit for taking BARC. BARC is informative and engaging and provides a positive learning experience that fosters retention of course content. The BARC referral process is easy and convenient. BARC can be ordered as part of a rehabilitative plan in criminal cases and for juveniles who have shown a lack of empathy for animals or a propensity for hurting them. BARC can also be an effective tool for animal services professionals in cases where officers feel that education, rather than a citation or criminal charges, is more appropriate. BARC is open only to adults and juveniles 15 and older who have been referred by a representative from an approved agency. We're proud of the fact that leaders in the animal protection and welfare community have endorsed BARC. The BARC program will be successful for a variety of reasons. Number one, it's comprehensive, and so I think it's going to hold people accountable, but I also think it's going to educate them. I think people are going to walk away with a different understanding than when they started. I think the ramifications for a course like this are very far-reaching. We need to change people's behavior, uh, and we need to change it in a way where they can grasp and understand what it is they're doing, the consequences of their actions, not only for themselves, but for the animals that they're abusing or neglecting. And the best part about BARC is that it meets such an important need in the criminal justice system in every community in this country. You'll find additional endorsements on our website, as well as more information about the curriculum, course goals, and how BARC works. The Susie Spector Foundation is committed to preventing animal abuse by inspiring change through knowledge. We hope you'll join us in our mission.